Hi, readers. Thanks for joining me again as we continue to read about our focus topic, People in American History. Now, you may, may remember our focus word, remember. And we talked about how we add the ED ending to our focus word, remember, to become, what word did it become? Right, remembered. And remembered is a verb to show that it happened in the past. So we can use other verbs like the word celebrate that we have seen in one of our articles. And when we add our ed ending to the end of our verb celebrate, what does that sound like? Yeah, so celebrate becomes celebrated. So readers, I want you to think about other verbs that you know and think about how those verbs might sound when you add on that ed ending. So as I was thinking about some verbs that we have seen in our reading, I thought about the word immigrate. So when we add on our ED ending to show that it happened in the past, that new word is immigrated. You have come up with some great verbs. And another one that we have seen is the word work. So when we use our verb work and we add on that ED ending, what does that new word become? Yes, readers worked. Good job. So we're going to be reading our new article a day titled, A Hero in Disguise. Does anybody know what that word disguise means? So we are looking at something that could be used as a disguise. A disguise is used to change or hide the looks of something so that nobody can know who you are. So for instance, she disguised herself with a wig. So why would someone wear a disguise? What do you think? Have you ever worn a disguise before? So readers, read along with me as we read our article a day, A Hero in Disguise. A young woman wearing a big hat walked down the road, carrying chickens. When she recognized a man coming toward her, she pulled a string tied to one chicken's leg. The chickens started squawking. Because of the noise, the man avoided her. Hmm. So this could be someone carrying all those chickens. And this could be the man avoiding her. He's acting like he doesn't see her or hear her. He's avoiding her. The woman was named Harriet Tubman. She was wearing a disguise. In fact, Harriet was an African-American woman who was an escaped slave. The man who avoided her was a slaveholder who had once owned her. If he had recognized her, he would have tried to capture her again. So he would have tried to take her, right? But because she was wearing some disguise, he didn't know who she was. 200 years ago, many African-Americans were held as slaves. Most slaves were in the Southern United States. Tubman helped the slaves escape to the North and on to Canada. Many other people also helped. They hid escaping slaves in houses and churches along the way. The group of people who worked to help slaves escape 
by using different places and secret routes was known as the Underground Railroad. So this must be a house that they hid some slaves in. And this may show some of those routes that they used to help those slaves escape these lines that are in red. Wow. Facing danger, Harriet Tubman showed courage every day. Slaveholders knew who she was and the police wanted to arrest her, but she kept on helping slaves to escape. Today, Harriet Tubman is remembered as a brave leader who made the world a better place. So why is Harriet Tubman remembered today? Why do we remember her? So readers, let's take out our book of knowledge, whether it be a virtual book of knowledge or on a piece of paper, to write down what we learned from our article a day that you would like to remember. You can use one of these sentence frames such as, Harriet Tubman is remembered for her, mm, or Tubman helped slaves to, mm, to the North and Canada. Or Tubman had to wear a mmm. You can use one of these words to help you complete one of these sentences. Escape, courage, or disguise. Pause the video now to complete what you learned in your book of knowledge. So readers, let's take a look at what you learned about Harriet Tubman. So which one of those words could com best complete this sentence? Harriet Tubman is remembered for her, what word is it? Courage. And Tubman had to wear a, how can we fill this word in? Yes, a disguise. And finally, Tubman helped slaves to, what word fits best here? Escape to the North and Canada. I was thinking about what I learned and I drew a little map of the USA. And I thought about how she helped those slaves go North to Canada. So I wrote my sentence using my drawing, Harriet Tubman was brave for helping slaves go north to Canada. So readers, before we conclude our lesson today, let's take our meaning mapper out and let's connect some new words to our focus word, remember, which means to keep in your memory or other words that you've connected to your meaning mapper. Pause the video and do that now. So as we were reading this article a day, I added the word courage and I connected it to the word celebrate. So we want to remember to celebrate people that had courage like Harriet Tubman. Readers, thank you so much as we read on in our topic people in American history. I hope you learned something about Harriet Tubman, one of the people in American history. Thanks for joining me.